the tower block you can see is part of the development in question but would be retained. The eastern elevation This is the south elevation. I'm standing now with my back to the sea. It's actually in a phone box to uh, help with the wind noise. But uh, five or six stories high would presumably compromise the row of buildings to the west. This house is notable for once being home to Lawrence of Arabia. No one is doubting they're in much need of maintenance. Details of merit. If all else fails, we'd dearly love to save this protected open space as important amenity space, pocket park, a buffer between this development and its neighbours across the road. This is the western elevation of the La Collette low-rise development, what you might call the back of the development. The tower block has been refurbished and some of the residents here would rather their flat were refurbished than knocked down and rebuilt. Part of the argument for the total demolition of these buildings is that the state of Jersey aimed to provide homes for life with their socially rented houses and uh, there are no lift shafts here. And then, of course, what the Taylor Leaping World design of the 1960s has over its proposed modern replacement is the sense of broadening out, lowering out, broadening out as you get closer down Green Street, closer to the sea. And all this protected green space will be lost under five or six storeys. So you'll get a corridor effect. 